Hello, it's me, Brandon Burns, aka Ratty Ruffin from YouTube, and I haven't done a DVD review in a while, so I decided to do it again. I'm decided to review a classic 1980, huh? I think this is 1980, late 70s, early 80s. Oh man, I forget what year. I know what I know what it is, but I forget what year. I'm not sure you're. It's one of the most controversial movies ever made, shot on a video. It's one of the most controversial movies ever made. I'll give you another clue before I'll show you what movie I'm about to review. The director actually went to jail because a lot of people thought this was real footage, but it wasn't. You know, he, they said all they thought all the actors did get killed, but that you know that was, they were just hiding out for a while. Okay, now I'm going to tell you what movie we're about to review. Yep, Cannibal Holocaust, one of the most controversial films ever made. The one that goes all the way. Banned and heavily censored, the world over here is a film that surpasses its reputation as a shotgun blast to the sense. Cannibal Holocaust presents the found footage of a group of four documentary filmmakers who experience brutal death at the hands of a savage South American tribe flesh eaters. This footage is so intense, so graphic, and so unflinching in its realism that the director and piece of Cannibal Holocaust were arrested. Yeah, I told you about that. Were arrested upon its original release in the film. Size thought it was real footage. It wasn't, but it was. This is a great horror movie. A great horror classic. Mainly the plot is about the professor who is seeking these four filmmakers documentary who disappeared in the woods. Later, we find out they all got eaten. You know, hence the title. And he goes to South America to try to find them and he meets these, um, I guess, South American tourists. Well, not tourists, these tour guides. I can't remember, you know, the South American tour guides. To try to search the four kids. Well, they found the footage and they find out what happened to the four filmmakers. It was mostly finding, the, finding out what happened to them and we see the footage of what happened to them, how they were, the four kids, filmmakers, were jerks to the tribes and. And there was some you know, graphic stuff about the, them eating those turtles, you know, eating real animals, real turtles were killed during the making of this movie. But it is a good horror flick, good cannibal holocaust, one of the most controversial films ever made, the grindhouse experience, whatever you want to call it. What else happened to this movie? Oh yeah, a girl who gets like, you know, like her body is how should I pronounce this? Uh, I think it's on the cover. Hold on. Uh, it's on the cover. Yeah, it is on the cover. I don't know if I should show it. It's a little too graphic. Maybe you can see it. Yeah. About having her whole body, you know, you saw the picture, you know what I'm talking about. But this is a controversial film ever made, one of the most controversial films. There's also another one called Cannibal Fairfax. I don't know. I don't have that on DVD. I might review it if I get it one day. But but please check out Cannibal Holocaust. Holocaust. Cannibal Holocaust. Sorry, I can't pronounce it. You know, it is based on real South African or South American cannibals. Some people do still eat human flesh. That's how I'm gonna say. Have a good one.